Hello, my name is Colby from StarlinkHardware.com, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to install the Starlink Long Wall Mount Kit. The tools that you'll need for installation are a stud finder, five 30 seconds drill bit with the drill, you'll need a half an inch socket, marking pencil, and finally a level. Included in the Starlink Wall Mount Kit, you'll have the dish carrying case. You have some cable tie downs, you have a marking template, a couple of lag screws, some silicone sealant, the bottom plate, and then finally the long wall mount itself. So at this point you should already have an installation location picked out and you can do that by using the Starlink obstruction tool in the, the Starlink app. And then I also recommend if it's possible, temporarily install the dish using the standard tripod up on the roof near the location where you're thinking about and allow it to collect obstruction data for about 12 hours. It's important that you select a location where you don't have any obstructions that will reduce Starlink's performance. So the first thing we have to do if we're gonna be mounting to the exterior instead of the fascia here, we gotta find a stud that we can secure the lag bolts into. So I'm gonna use my stud finder and I got a pretty good idea where one is right here because of these nails that are along this line, but we'll double check with the stud finder. Yep, it looks like a pretty good location. So I'm going to use that nail as a reference. Uh, if you don't have a nail or siding like this, you can just use a, your uh, pencil marker to make a little mark. So now we'll go get the level and we'll make a vertical line. So now I've got my level here and what I want to do here is use it to make a vertical line with my pencil. And I know what you're thinking, you, you know, I could have just used this, um, this edge here of the siding as my reference, but I wanted to demonstrate it in case you had a different kind of siding. But I'll take my line and what I'll do is just make a pencil mark, oh, about six inches or so, just to give us a, a good level line where that stud location is. You take this template from the Starlink kit and you align it about where you want your uh, mount to go. In this case, we're going to try to get up as close to the top as we can. And we're just going to align the seam that's on this cardboard to the line, the vertical line that we just drew. And then we're going to drill our pilot holes uh, using the template as reference. So it's a 5 30 second drill bit. And you just drill two pilot holes into your stud. And then you'll be ready to mount up the long wall mount. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here real quick off camera. So now we've got our holes drilled, and then you want to take the silicone that Starlink provides in the kit and go ahead and put it in both holes. Um, it's probably going to be easier to actually put some on the tip of the lag bolts as well before you drive them in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So now that you've got silicone applied to both the holes, you're going to take the top hole and put the insert the lag bolt in. The mount actually slides over the, uh, the head of this bolt here, so you want to tighten it down and leave about a half of an inch gap between the exterior wall and where the head of this bolt is. That way the mount can slide right over and you'll want to do this before you put the second lag bolt in there. So we're going to go ahead and tighten it down now. Okay, so now I've got the top lag bolt in. I've left about a half an inch gap there for this mount to slide onto. So now using, you see the top hole there, how it's wider at the bottom you'll slide it down onto that first nut and that'll hold it in place while you secure the second lag nut. So now I'm gonna drive in that second lag nut, tighten, tighten the bottom one up, make sure everything's good, and then go ahead and finish tightening the top one up. So you may have been wondering what the carrying case is for and we're at the point now where we can use carrying case to take our dish up to the top and get it onto our mount. So just to recap here quickly, we've uh, secured both of the lag bolts. Now it's tight, secured into a stud, and we're ready to install the dish. So it's got this nice little carrying handle so you can strap it onto your shoulder, safely climb up your ladder, and then install the dish into the mount. So just to show you the cable, you route it through the top here. You see that there's an open channel. So you plug it into your dish after you, uh, before, right before you snap it into place into the mount, and then the cable will route down through the arm and then come out the bottom here. 
So now we're almost ready for the final piece here. Uh, all we need to do is take this little bottom cap here, use the, the slot here to put our cable through, and then line up the bottom. There's little uh, mounting tabs here. And then you just snap it into place. So we've got the dish mounted, and now the final piece of the puzzle here is just cable management. So route your cable through the house and then use these included cable ties to secure the cable to the, your exterior. Just run it down to wherever your the hole is that goes through your exterior and inside your home. And go ahead and power on your dish and then you'll be ready to go.